afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm here making, uh, I would say, a brunch. And I'm doing pancakes. I'm going to do some eggs and veggie sausage. Okay, so. This is the pancake mix that I usually make my gluten-free people. This is a good mix. Um, it's biscuit and it is gluten-free. If you have any gluten issues, try this. Um, I sometimes use the other uh, regular one because it's bigger. It has more um, flour within it. So um, whatever is your preference, you can use any pancake mix if you don't have a preference. Um, but this is what I am showing you guys for those who are gluten free because sometimes people have issues with gluten. Um, okay, so that's one thing. Okay, so this is my mix right here. I already put everything together. I just used some whole milk. Boom. I, I mixed a little bit of oat milk and some vanilla yogurt okay and i also put half of a banana you know what a banana looks like but i put well a little bit more than half i was gonna put the whole thing but i'm like i don't want it to be too banana too banana e <laughs> and all i did was mix it together and i cracked the egg inside too because that's going to help it stick together because this mix is pretty good but it's kind of more grainy than the regular one so I feel like putting the egg in it kind of makes it stick together a little bit better. So all I did was mix that together. Okay. That's our mix. I'm going to put this away. I can be anything, but I want to be. My own love you. Alrighty, so I'm gonna bring you a little closer so you can see this pancake. It's not the best looking pancake as far as form goes, but we're not always going for the form. We're going for the taste. <laughs> Alrighty. Dry off our hands. Bring you a little closer, 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 closer closer there's our good pancake right there a nice brown banana pancake amen okay so it should be done by now soft because that's where the sweetness is 
you know, if you want them to be like french fries, then you, you get the green plantain those, or you get the green banana. But if you want to cook and put banana inside your stuff, it's good to make sure that it's um, softer. The softer, the better. I'm gonna just put the whole thing in there. I'm just pretty much cutting it up with the spoon. What I noticed is it's not about perfection as far as form goes, but when it comes to cooking, it's more about the taste. I don't really care about measurements as long as it got some flavor. I ain't no measurement kind of girl. I don't like measurements. I don't like I don't like putting up things with directions. <laughs> I like to figure things out on my own. And if I need help, then I ask. When it's there, it's, you know, when I need it, it's there. But, like, I got measuring cups. I got GPS. I got, uh, what's it called? I got directions to the things that I need to put together. But, I start with my mind. Use your mind first. And then if you have a hard time figuring it out, then there's the directions. Then there's the measuring cups. If it don't come out right, next time, use the measuring cup. But if you do well with, with your uh, ingredients and just doing it by hand, by by eye and by hand, whatever, then you don't need them. Pancakes. 
I don't like it too soggy. I just like to be able to dip it in a little bit. Like that, like so, like so, like that. This is delicious. It's not boring. Watch me eat. <laughs> as I go sometimes like if I'm really hungry and I can't wait till everything done look your girl gonna sit here and I'm gonna just eat as I go I'm about to throw my veggie sausage in So you are king. We lift our worship. that I usually like to eat it's really good I mean listen it, it, to me them other sausages ain't got nothing on it honestly them, them real meat sausages ain't got nothing on it Do what they do. 
as they heat up, they're gonna melt. And then I'll separate them. Worship and some brunch. that you can eat healthy you can eat healthy on a budget you can eat healthy um, how can I say you can help eat healthy as a vegan a vegan slash vegetarian slash whatever else you want to be you can eat meat too you can be healthy and eat meat so this ain't necessarily a vegan video or dish this is just a simple meal video. Of the things that I like to eat. And I don't eat pancakes a lot. I haven't had pancakes in a good month or so. I think I might have had French toast maybe about two to three weeks ago, but sometimes I don't like all of that heavy stuff on me, on my stomach, and just all that heavy sweet stuff. I like to eat stuff that I know is not going to make me feel, um, what is it called? Um icky inside 
Like, I know, I know it's a difference between, between how you feel when you eat a salad versus how you feel when you eat pancakes. And that's why I do my best to try to still keep it semi-healthy when I eat my pancakes. Like, I threw some veggie sausages in there. Um, you know, just try to keep it healthy when you can. Maybe drink a green drink along with your breakfast if you're eating pancakes. Because um, what I'm trying to do is, it's a goal of mine to incorporate um, veggies in every meal. Whether that's drinking a veggie drink or a veggie smoothie or shake. Um, just making sure that I have vegetables with every meal. Because sometimes we only have vegetables with dinner or we might have it with dinner and lunch. But we don't necessarily have it with breakfast because most of the time the American diet is pancakes, eggs, or cereal and milk. And, you know, they don't really incorporate veggies in the breakfast. They may say a fruit, an apple, or apple juice. But I want veggies to be in my breakfast as well because I see how good it can make you feel and how much more healthier you can be with putting veggies in your breakfast. Maybe making a good a kale omelet, eggs, put some kale on top, or eggs and spinach, or eggs and guacamole. You can incorporate veggies any, any way, anyhow. You just got to use your noggin. Use the tools. Use the tools that you got to pull off your procedure. Pull off the procedure. Listen to all of this. You know what I mean? Like, 
I'm not gonna be a believer listening to who shot you <laughs> or you know what is it called um it's an, it, it, I'm not even going there but I'm not gonna be sitting here saying that I, I, I'm representing Christ and then listening to Biggie Smalls now you know there's certain people, believers who still listen to, to secular music I don't have nothing against that that's they, that's they thing but for me I'm gonna clean my life up everywhere I can as much as I can so I don't really listen to a lot of secular music I mean once in a while you know Mariah Carey will come on the radio and I'll be like, I want to see my baby when I in love. <laughs> so yeah, once in a while, you know, I may end up listening to it or I may, it may bring back a good memory, but I try my best to not listen to certain secular music or even promote it. Um, you know, especially if it has like curse words or something you know, not so wholesome in it. Um, and when I say wholesome, that just means something that's not of goodness or something that, you know, is of evil or something that is unwholesome. Like, you know, talking about sex, drugs, and money, and I'm not into that, you know. Um, so I try to stay away from that stuff. But um, I forgot where I was going with all of this. I really don't remember, but <laughs> bear with me. Um, it would help to put the pancakes back on. So anyways, where was I going with this? Oh, Isabel Davis and how I was praying to God, like, Lord, like, just replace the music with your music, with the music that you are pleased with, that glorifies you. And I remember, I remember stuff, he just started downloading different songs. Like I would go on YouTube and a, a song would pop up. And I'd be like, oh, this sounds good. Before you know it, kept going on YouTube or maybe on Pandora, putting on the gospel station. Before you know it, all of these songs, my playlist, my playlist started, you know, you know, how can I say, um, it was being revamped. <laughs> and before you knew it, I didn't care about all of those songs that I used to listen to anymore. Because all of the songs that God sent me were the songs that I love. And in the fact, knowing that it glorified God, how much more do I love it? You know what I mean? That I get to listen to things that are not negative, things that are building people up and not bringing them down, you know. And not all secular music brings people down, but if you're talking about certain things that, you know, are keeping the black people, the just the population down in general, like, you know, drugs, sex, money, like that ain't building nobody up. Um, alcohol, you go into the club, you twerking, that, that ain't building nobody up. That's keeping everybody down. So, um, yeah. God replaced all of those other songs with some gospel songs, some Holy Spirit filled music. Cause not all gospel songs are Holy Spirit filled, but you know, it is what it is, you know. Um, but Isabel Davis is one of those uh, songstress, staunch songstresses that you know she just gets you going. Like you feel like you at a concert when you listening to her, like. Like with that song just now, like I feel like I can go like this. <laughs> like, like if I if I was the type of person that really loved rock, I feel like I could really go to her concert and just feel like, you know, yeah, because the beat, the the guitar in the back, the drums, the everything is just like she she has beautiful songs and she also has beautiful music to all her songs. So if you're looking for some replacement songs, check out your girl Isabel Davis. This ain't no sponsor video or nothing like that but that's my girl so I'll give credit where credit's due and um yeah so that's about it and I hope y'all enjoying this you know what I mean I mean whoever enjoys it great whoever doesn't then you don't have to watch it 
Um, I just like to do what I love, and I know people can benefit off the things that I'm doing and the things in my life. So I decide to share, you know, as the Lord leads, as I, you know, I feel led to share. And today I was like, mm, I'm about to make my pancakes, my famous gluten-free pancakes. Somebody may benefit off of this one day. My veggie sausages, somebody may benefit off of that one day. Because a lot of people don't know about different veggie meats that you can eat. But I ain't got to explain all of that because I'm doing what I want to. You feel me? Yeah, let me take off my glasses so you can understand how serious I am right now because I ain't playing. I ain't, 2023 is here and I ain't playing. 2023 is here and it's about to be over. 2024 is almost it's almost about to be done, begin. So listen her, okay? Listen her. We're going to do this thing right. We're going to live our lives right. We're going to glorify the Lord. That's what I'm doing. I don't know about you. I don't know about anybody else. But this is what I'm doing. As for me and my house, we serve the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Dang, this, this pancake looked like a pot roast. <laughs> Dang, I didn't know it was that much mixed in it. I'm going to have to cut that in half. Like I said, we ain't going for form and perfection. We going for what's good. <laughs> Sometimes I do go for form and perfection, but as long as my food is good, look, the chicken wing could be hanging off the bone. But listen, if it's hanging off the bone, then you know it's hanging off the bone. <laughs> and you know what that means. It's got some hanging off the bone. On it's hanging off the bone. <laughs> so, we cooking them sausages up. Uh, uh, uh. And we're going to saute, saute these bad boys. Let them fall apart a little bit. respect you know you don't have to come out of character in order for somebody to understand you you don't have to curse people out in order to get respect um, and then you know just be careful what you speak because words are life words can be life but they also can be death so if you want to see life in your life, speak life, speak goodness. Say that, you know, when you wake up in the morning, say some affirmations. If you are a believer, a follower of Jesus Christ, a true follower, then you can have a list, you know, and say, I am the head and not the tail. I am the lender and not the borrower. I am blessed and highly favored. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. If you want, put them junks on your mirror because... When you wake up in the morning, you look in your mirror, there they are, and there you are. And when you're speaking those things, you're becoming those things. When you're speaking those things over your life, you know, your life is becoming those things. They'll bear good fruit, just like people say, speak to a plant, you know, and it'll grow. Um, whatever you speak to, it, whatever, if you speak good, it'll come to fruition. If you speak bad, it'll come to fruition. So whatever you do with your words, make sure 
that you speak words of life if you want to see life in your life, if that makes sense. Um, because a lot of people are speaking negatively to you over their lives, over their children, over their themselves. And they're wondering why their situations are how they are is because they're they're not speaking life over their situations. Now, if everybody has struggles, we all go through things at the same time. Whatever struggle you're going through, just make sure you do your best every day, daily. Whenever you catch a free moment in your mind, a free moment of, moment of stillness, just say good things over yourself, over your children, over your life. And before a matter of time, things will get better. Now, I, I don't, you know, I do my best with that because sometimes I may forget or I may go about my day and, you know, but throughout my day, I try to pray. Throughout my day, I try to speak the words of life over me and my children, over, over me and my child. I try to speak words of life over us, over my li over our lives, you know, because that is very important. Why does it smell like plastic is burning? I don't know, but ain't no plastic over here, so I'm gonna just let it go. It's not this, I don't think, because it's not close to nothing. But anyways, again, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, it's not too much more to go, but the egg. So stay in chat, if you will. Kick up, kick off your shoes and relax your feet, if you will. Mm -hmm. You know, another good thing, um, as far as health concerns go, is to eat turmeric. I remember when it was a time in my life where I would buy a whole bag of turmeric from the Indian store and I would just find myself throughout the day eating teaspoons of it. Like I would literally keep the teaspoon inside the turmeric bag so that this way when I was ready to eat it, all I gotta do is just scoop it and put it in my mouth. Cause that's how much I love it. And it's not so much that it even has really a taste to it. Turmeric only really has a taste when you when you make curry powder. Because that's what turmeric, that's the base of curry powder, is turmeric. So, um, yeah, it only really has flavor when you do that, when you make the curry powder. But for some reason, I just like herbs. Like, I like. Like, I'll sit there and I'll eat a whole spoonful of tuna. I'll eat a whole spoonful of um, sea, what is it called, sea moss or things like that. Like, I'm the type of person that, when it comes to health and things like that, like, I'm not a picky person. Like, I'm not the type that be like, oh, I can't eat that. Like, that's nasty. I can't eat that. It don't have no taste. Listen, I'm all for it. Like. And sometimes I like it because it don't have no taste. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Ooh, this one is looking a little burnt, but that's okay. We just made a whole pot of pancake. We just made a pot roast pancake. This is the big. Ooh, child. Oh, it's not burnt. Good. Excellent. Excellent. You see how we did that thing? Listen, it's all in the wrist. It's all in the wrist. It barely got broken up. You see that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Juicy. Delicious. But anyways, baby girl just woke up for her nap. Baby woke up. You woke up for your nap, girl. <laughs>
you can use it to say you see that. Whoa. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna make some banana pancakes. Woo. some sausages. Are you gonna help me? Are you gonna help me make it?
egg. So now we're gonna make the eggs. Thank you. 
Good job to you. Spirit is playing today on my phone because his name is Phil Wickham. I like this song. 
it's very peaceful, you know. That's why I like listening to songs of God because it's a very peaceful song. I'm gonna exit out with um another song though real quick because I want y'all to hear it because this has been my anthem. It's been my anthem lately. Now he's somebody else I can listen to. It's just like the songs just was playing like um, randomly. Like I didn't have my playlist playing today. And it's so calming. All right, I'm gonna play this one for y'all. Y'all gonna love it. I mean, I love it. I hope y'all love it just as much as I love it. But if you don't, then oh well. This is my jam. Those things is nice and crispy, so we can take those out. Cry of a heart, Jesus.
right where you are, let that be the cry of your heart. Lifting your hands, sing it with us. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit.
Oh, oh. 